Police struggle with a man hitting him several times, and it's all caught on tape. Welcome back. The Long Beach Police Department defending itself after a man claims that officers went too far during a recent arrest. Well, the officer said that they were the ones under attack. KJ5's Christina Piscucci is live outside Long Beach Memorial mm -hmm. Hospital where the man is recovering from his injuries. Christina. Good afternoon, guys. Porfirio's wife, nieces, and his newly hired lawyer all here hoping to see him. They say he's had to undergo surgery. He's gotten stitches on numerous parts of his body, including his head, all because of this. <laughs> Police were called to break up a fight on Labor Day that 46-year-old Porfirio Santos Lopez had reportedly been involved in. See Lopez on the ground as he's hit with a baton at least half a dozen times. Witnesses say he was tasered to the ground and the subsequent beating was excessive and hard to watch. I spoke to his wife earlier today who says the family's hired an attorney and plans to sue Long Beach police. They broke two of his bones in his right arm around his elbow. They broke it so bad that he needed surgery to repair it. He had two cuts on his right leg that they had to stitch up, one on his left leg they had to stitch up, one across his top of his head, and one of his, in his left lung was partially collapsed. At one point during the incident, uh, he actually kicked the baton out of the officer's hand, uh, striking the officer's wrist, and at one point he also kicked an officer in the face. Long Beach police say Lopez, pictured here with one of his three kids, was combative. They say surveillance video shows a different side to the story when Lopez initially went to a liquor store near South and Locust and then threw punches at a group of men, apparently angry over a beer can. Authorities say he was drunk and had admitted to using meth in the recent past. They also say he has a criminal history. His wife, though, tells me Lopez has a history of mental illness, and she's called Long Beach police many times trying to get help for her husband, but police have not done a thing. He, he needs help because he, he hears people talking, and he sees people, and he knows that, and he told the police this when they would come, and, so, and he wanted them to help him, and they won't help him. Is he, there were reports that he was on meth the day that he was arrested? Th that's what they're saying. I don't know. Involved in all this are still on duty as the internal investigation continues. Meanwhile, we're being told Lopez has been arrested on suspicion of numerous charges, including battery and resisting. <laughs> Police were called to break up a fight on Labor Day that 46-year-old Porfirio Santos Lopez had reportedly been involved in. See Lopez on the ground as he's hit with a baton at least half a dozen times. Witnesses say he was tasered to the ground and the subsequent beating was excessive and hard to watch. I spoke to his wife earlier today who says the family's hired an attorney and plans to sue Long Beach police.